Do you enjoy stalking through the battlefield, picking your time to strike, and then disappearing back into the shadows right after? Well then, the Night Stalker is a subclass for you. In this video, I will explain all the components of Night Stalker so you can start making builds or improve your general game knowledge. A disclaimer before we begin. Destiny is a game that constantly changes and evolves. As such, the information in this video may become less accurate the further in the future you are watching this. Therefore, I would always double check to ensure that the information presented is still accurate. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Before we get into the specifics of Night Stalker, I think it's important to get an overview of the Void subclass in general. Void is one of the three light subclasses, alongside Solar and Arc. Void, although not as potent as Solar, still performs really well in the current sandbox. It has verbs to debuff enemies, crowd control, add clear, provide healing, and extra resistances. It is also the only subclass that allows you to go invisible. This allows it to perform generally well and has a way to deal with most situations. Now that we have a rough overview on the Void subclass, let's begin by defining the subclass verbs that's relevant for Void. Firstly, let's talk about Devour. While Devour is active, killing an enemy grants you 100 HP. The base duration of this buff is 10 seconds, but it can be extended to 15 seconds through the Echo of Persistence. Scoring kills also extends its duration by 5 seconds or 8 seconds with the Echo of Persistence, and it also grants grenade energy. The values are shown on screen. The next one to talk about is Overshield. Overshield grants you an extra 45 HP for 10 seconds on top of your health and shields. Overshield also reduces the damage that you receive from combatants by 50%. You cannot gain Overshield while in a healing rift. The final buff that Void has is Invisibility. This turns you invisible to enemies and they will not be able to determine your location. To other Guardians, your model will simply be invisible with the exception of a light shimmer and you will not constantly ping their radar. Any offensive actions will immediately end your invisibility. Your radar range is also limited to 24 meters while invisible. The first Void debuff that you can apply on opponents is Suppression. Suppression means that the target is knocked out of any active abilities and can't activate abilities for as long as Suppression persists. This includes supers and super will not be refunded if you are suppressed out of it. Enemy combatants will be disoriented and any overload champions will become stunned upon being suppressed. The next debuff that you can apply on enemies is Volatile. When you afflict a target with Volatile, they will be afflicted with unstable void energy and explode, dealing 160 void damage to nearby enemies upon taking 190 damage or on death. It will harmlessly expire after a certain amount of time has passed. The exact value has not been determined for PvE yet. Volatile can only be reapplied one second after a detonation. Barrier champion shields are able to be damaged while Volatile rounds are active, stunning the champion when destroyed. The final Void debuff is Weaken, which makes afflicted targets take 15% more damage and have 20% decreased movement speed for 5 seconds. Combatants are less accurate. The class specific pickup that the Void subclass uses is the Void Breach. Picking up a Void Breach grants 12.5% class ability energy on pickup. Allies do not receive any Void Breach you create and they last 25 seconds before disappearing. Creating a Void Breach incurs a 5 second cooldown upon creation. Now that we have explained all the Void Verbs and Pickups, let's continue by talking about all the Void Grenades as this is also shared by all the Void subclasses. Axion Bolt Grenades releases two bolts that seeks nearby enemies. This grenade does 575 base damage and has a base cooldown of 152 seconds. Magnetic Grenades will stick on impact and then explode twice with each explosion doing 472.5 base damage. The base cooldown is 105 seconds. Scatter Grenades releases 8 drones on impact. Each drone explodes twice, dealing 115 base damage with the first explosion and 69 base damage with the second explosion. The base cooldown is 105 seconds. Spike grenades will stick to surfaces, emitting a torrent of void light after 0.783 seconds with the echo of remnants reducing this activation time by 0.083 seconds. This void light deals 80 base damage every 0.217 seconds up to 19 times over 3.9 seconds or 26 times over 5.43 seconds with the Echo of Remnants. The base cooldown is 121 seconds. Suppressor grenades will apply suppression on detonation for 10 seconds to any enemy hit by the grenade's explosion. It deals 863 base damage and its base cooldown is 121 seconds. Void wall grenades deal 171 damage 0.117 seconds after detonation. This activation time is reduced by 0.051 seconds with the Echo of Remnants. The Void Light takes 18 times, dealing 120 damage every 0.117 seconds over 3.48 seconds. This is increased to 28 times every 0.051 seconds over 5.63 seconds with the Echo of Remnants. The base cooldown is 121 seconds. The final grenade is the Vortex Grenade. 
This grenade deals 173 base damage on initial detonation and pulls any nearby enemies after 0.833 seconds or 0.767 seconds with the Echo of Remnants. This will continue to do 69 base damage every 0.27 seconds up to 17 times over 4.2 seconds to enemies inside it. This increases to 25 times over 6.45 seconds with the Echo of Remnants. Now that we have covered the grenades, let's talk about our melee ability. Snare Bomb does 30 base impact damage and 120 base AOE damage. Any enemy hit by the detonation will be weakened and have reduced movement speed and weapon performance. It can remain embedded on surfaces and explode when enemies come near it. The Night Stalker has access to two class abilities. You have your standard Marksman and Gambler dodges. Let's talk about what each of them does. Marksman dodge instantly reloads your weapon and it can activate effects that proc on reloads, such as Kill Clip. Both dodges also remove aim assist as well as tracking from projectiles fired by combatants. The base cooldown of Marksman dodge is 29 seconds. Gambler's dodge grants 130% melee ability energy as long as you activate the dodge within 15 meters of an enemy. It has a base cooldown of 38 seconds. The final abilities we would need to discuss would be the three Night Stalker supers, Shadow Shot Deadfall, Shadow Shot Mobius Quiver, and Spectral Blades. Let's start with what is shared between supers. All three supers have a 90% damage resistance while you are in your super. Shadow Shot Deadfall fires a single Void Anchor that will pull all enemies within 12.5 meters towards it, upon impact with a surface or an enemy. Void Anchor activates on a 1 second delay after it detects an enemy within 12.5 meters or after 30 seconds have passed. Void Anchor supplies Weaken and Suppress on hit to tethered enemies, increasing their damage taken by 30% and sharing 50% of body shot damage taken to other tethered enemies. Tethered enemies are marked for 30 seconds. Void Anchors last for 12 seconds by default, but Tethered Kills increase its duration by 0.5 seconds up to a maximum of 25 seconds. The base cooldown is 455 seconds. Shadow Shot Mobius Quiver fires a triplet of Void Arrows that track enemies. Shadow Shot is able to be fired twice per super activation. Void Anchor activates one second after impact. Void Anchors apply Weaken, Suppress, and Volatile on hit to Tethered enemies, increasing their damage taken by 30% and sharing 50% of body shot damage taken to other tethered enemies. The arrows also deal 20% increased damage to tethered enemies. Void Anchors last for 6 seconds by default. It is currently unknown how much killing enemies extends its duration. The base cooldown is 500 seconds. The final Night Stalker super that we need to learn about is Spectral Blades. It lasts for 23.5 seconds by default and drains 50% faster if not invisible. Your light attack drains around 5% super energy and deals 277 base damage while removing void invisibility. Uninterrupted hits against enemies grants up to 25% increased melee attack speed. The heavy attack drains around 15% super energy and performs an uppercut that deals 405 base damage while applying weaken and granting invisibility. The base cooldown is 556 seconds. Alright, we have covered all the abilities that are available to a Night Stalker. Let's talk about things that may add more abilities or modify existing abilities, which are aspects and fragments. I will cover the aspects first. Night Stalkers have access to three aspects, each one giving you the ability to slot two fragments. You may freely choose two to use at any given time. These aspects are Trapper's Ambush, Vanishing Step, and Stylish Executioner. Let's begin with Trapper's Ambush. Trapper's Ambush allows you to hit your air move button to activate Quickfall spending your melee charge to dive and create a smoke cloud on landing. Enemies caught in the smoke cloud receive up to 200 base damage and are weakened for 10 seconds. Allies caught by the smoke cloud become invisible for 6.3 seconds. Snare bombs also grant invisibility for 4.7 seconds to all allies within 6 meters of the attachment point. Vanishing Step allows dodging to grant void invisibility for 4.8 seconds. It also refreshes any active void invisibility effect to its maximum duration. Finally, let's talk about Stylish Executioner. Killing enemies affected by any Void debuff, Suppress, Volatile, Weaken, grants Invisibility and True Sight for 7.8 seconds and 4 seconds respectively. Melee attacks while invisible from Stylish Executioner deals 150% increased damage, weakens enemies for 5 seconds and the melee lunge range is also increased. It applies the 2 Stylish debuff after Invisibility wears off, preventing the activation of Stylish Executioner for 2 seconds. Now, we move on to the final part of this deep dive into the Night Stalker, which are Fragments. Night Stalkers share the same fragments with the other two Void subclasses, Sentinels and Void Walkers. If you already know what these fragments do by watching those subclass breakdowns, then you may feel free to skip this section. I will try to cover all the fragments concisely but still delivering the relevant details to you. I will also note any stat buffs or debuffs that the fragments confer to you on screen. 
Let's begin alphabetically with the Echo of Succession. Echo of Succession allows your finishers to apply Volatile to nearby enemies. Killing enemies afflicted with Volatile spawns a Void Breach. Echo of Dilation sets your crouch speed to 4 meters per second and grants you double radar resolution while crouched. Echo of Domineering allows suppressing an enemy to grant 30 mobility and a 4% forward movement speed bonus for 10 seconds and refills the ready weapon. The buff's duration serves as a cooldown. Killing suppressed enemies grants a Void Breach. Echo of Exchange grants grenade energy on melee kills based on enemy rank. Tier 1 combatants grant 7.5%, Tier 2 11%, Tier 3 16.25%, and Tier 4 bosses and mini bosses 25%. Echo of Expulsion allows void ability kills to cause enemies to explode, dealing 160 base damage in a 7 meter radius. Echo of Harvest allows kills on weakened enemies to create an orb of power that grants 2.5% super energy. It also creates a void breach. A 10 second cooldown is incurred when an orb of power is created. Echo of Instability causes grenade kills to grant volatile rounds to your weapons for 11 seconds. Volatile rounds make any hit with a void weapon apply volatile. Echo of Leeching causes melee kills to begin health regeneration for you and any nearby allies. Echo of Obscurity allows finishers to grant invisibility for 4.8 seconds. Echo of Persistence causes void buffs to generally last 50% longer. Echo of Provision causes dealing grenade damage to grant melee energy. It may only activate once per damage instance and hitting multiple enemies counts as one instance. Scatter, Spike, Void Wall and Vortex grenades grants 3% melee energy per instant, and Axion, Magnetic and Suppressor grenades grant 8% melee energy per instance. Echo of Remnants will cause your Void grenades to last longer, Spike grenades last 40% longer, Void Wall grenades last 60% longer, and Vortex grenades last 50% longer. We do not currently have the values for the Axion Bolt grenade. Echo of Reprisal causes being surrounded by 3 plus enemies in an 8 meter radius to grant additional super energy per kill. Each enemy after the 3rd and up to the 7th grants even more super energy each. A 1 second cooldown is incurred between activations. Echo of Starvation allows picking up an orb of power to grant devour for 5 seconds. Echo of Undermining causes void grenades to apply weaken on hit for 5 seconds. Lastly, Echo of Vigilance grants a void overshield for 5 seconds upon killing an enemy while at critical health. This overshot duration is increased to 7.5 seconds with the Echo Persistence. An 8 second cooldown is incurred after activation. Alright, this should cover pretty much everything you need to know about Night Stalkers to get started build crafting or playing around with the subclass. I will leave a link to the Destiny Data Compendium if you want to perform further research. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe and enable notifications to ensure that you do not miss any of my uploads. The next guide will be posted next Thursday and will be covering the Sentinel. Thank you for watching and happy farming.